So this is Brendan Davids. Um, he cycles for Show Air International. So what is your exact sport? Uh, the priority sport is obviously cross-country mountain bike racing. And uh, I'll do one or two marathon races and stuff like that, and a couple road races just to keep the speed up. But priority cross-country mountain bike racing is what I do. And how long have you been doing that? I've been doing that now five years, five, six years. So, yeah, I started when I was like 13 or 14 years old. And what are your accolades or your biggest accomplishments in your sport so we can tell everybody? Uh, last year I won the African Continental Championships uh, for the cross country and then uh, this year I was considered for the Olympic team. And they're still busy deciding but it doesn't look like I'll make it but it was it's really cool to be considered for it. And then I think I've been like top three in the nation for a couple of years so it's, it's a really good feeling to know you're at the top of the sport in your country. So did you have great results last year? Last year was pretty good, yeah. I got a, I got sixth at a World Cup, and uh, the Continental Championships was a really big win for me. It got me some good UCI points, and uh, I was a top finish, finishing South African at World Championships after a couple mechanicals. And, uh, yeah, it was, it was a good race. It's tough over there in Europe, but, yeah, I was happy with it. What about this year? Have you had any results yet? Uh, I won a couple races back home in South Africa. Uh, I finished third overall in one of the, the opening rounds in South Africa, and I got first U23, and then I got third U23, third U23 at the uh, second round, and then I came over here, and I, I got top 10 at my first pro race here in the States, and uh, first U23, so it's been going pretty good. Uh, We've got another. We got a couple more big races coming up. So, what does Show Air expect of you with those think, with results at that level? I think this year it's more. Scott's made it clear that it's more like a learning curve for me as as I try to sink my teeth into the pro like the pro pro ranks, and then next year is definitely going to be a big year for us. I think we're definitely going to try to crack the top five and be the first U23 for the entire season. And how old are you? I'm 19. Wow. What are your What are your main aspirations for for this season? For this season, will be definitely make the World Championships team again for South Africa. Um, if I get to the Wyndham World Cup, I definitely want to place top 20 um, as a first year U23 in a World Cup. So that's probably a big pretty big deal and then there's a couple pro XCTs coming up that I want to place top 10 again so I can hopefully end the season off within the top 10 and get a good call up for next season. What, um, if you're, if cycling ended today for you, what would you do tomorrow? I'd probably go into something like graphic design, I'm a pretty arty person, uh, during high school and stuff I was a, like an art major so. I think graphic design, anything to do with design would probably be a big thing for me. Yeah. Um, tell me a little bit about the tactics of your sport. Is it like road where you're working together with a team while you're out there? Is it more of an individual sport at your level? Well, tell me a little bit about I that. Think with the cross country racing, it's a lot more individual. It's more like kind of like a time trial with a whole bunch of guys around you. It's a lot of things can play like a lot of things can play a role with it, like with the outcome of a race. And you've kind of got to take things as they come and make quick decisions. And often, the, or sometimes, the decisions don't work out for the best. But uh, yeah, I think cross country is definitely an, more of an individual sport than a team sport. You. You're riding as hard as you can for an hour and a half, and then you go to the marathon racing. It's more tactical with the team. If you have a team, they stand a better tr chance of winning, like a road race. So, yeah, there's the different disciplines of mountain biking is requ require different sort of racing and tactics and stuff. So, I think the the cross country definitely relies on your own individual capabilities rather. How do you expand your limits in this sport? Um, I 
think more perseverance, you just got to kind of stick it out, learn from mistakes, and just take it as it comes. It's, it's taken me five or six years to get to where I am, and I'm still constantly learning things. I've, I've, I've made a couple stupid mistakes this season, which have cost me big time. And like what? Just riding, like, riding out of my element, kind of going too hard. I'll make a mistake, and then it causes a flat tire, it's, or... It's just something I've had to learn, and it's I learned it the hard way. And thank goodness for my team manager Ty Katie and my team owner Scott. Like they had to sit me down and just tell me to take things easy, kind of ride within my limits, and know the boundaries of where I can push myself to. And it's definitely a big jump from racing juniors, where it's like the juniors you just race flat out no matter what the whole time, because you're usually at the front and now racing from behind trying to get to the front is a lot harder so I think going into the red zone you start making mistakes and you end up causing damage to your bike or something so well being 19 have you had any bad habits that you've had to kick yeah <laughs> racing out of like my red zone and stuff was definitely one of them I mean it cost me sea otter is a prime example I just made stupid mistakes and it ended up costing me a race so when yeah. you ride outside of your capabilities would you consider those high risk it's it, it become it starts to become high risk depending on the sort of track or something because a lot of the tracks that we race in cross country are super technical and when, when you're riding in your red zone you're on the limit and you, you kind of don't have as much control and mistakes become pretty evident you can make a mistake pretty easily because you're on you're on the limit of being out of control when you're in the red so I think the further you can push your red zone the further or the bigger you can make your red zone the better because then you can ride like closer to it and be a, you can be faster and more in control so where do you see yourself in 10 years I definitely want to be racing Olympics within the next couple of years, that maybe the 2016 or 2020, but uh, I definitely want to have a world title too, the U23 world title, and then I'll, I'll be in the pro categories by then, in, by 20, or in 10 years time, so I definitely want to be racing at the top level of the sport in the World Cups, be like racing top 10s, and possibly podiuming, um, and then here locally in the States, I kind of want to be running at the front of the of the Pro XCT series. Who would you like to thank for your opportunity? There's a couple guys. Uh, the guy who got me started in it was Max Kluwer of Team Jeep South Africa. He is my first pro deal or first mountain bike team, like real mountain bike team. He got me on, on got the ball rolling for me and uh, he, uh, he was the kind of guy always pushing my media and encouraging me to go over, race overseas, and then uh, definitely Scott Tedro and Ty Katie and John Muller, they've, they're the guys from uh, Show Race Specialized, and they've, they've been instrumental in this season, they've helped. Cycling Illustrated really appreciates you taking the time to do this interview, and I'm sure cycling fans all over the country will be excited about this interview, so thank you very much. Thank you.